Hi everyone, it's Bethany, and in this tutorial I am going to be decorating my new Explorer Air 2. I'm really excited because a lot of you have been really wanting to watch me do this, um, and I really love to decorate my machines. I think it's a really fun way to add a little bit of personality and add a little bit of fun to an already beautiful machine. So um, I did get the new Explore Air 2. If you missed the unboxing, I did get it with the bundle. It was the first time that I have purchased a bundle and it was super fun. So I'll link it up here in case you wanna see what came in my personal bundle. So um, what I'm going to do is show you what you're gonna need if you wanted to create a um, decal or decorate your machine um, yourself. So what we're gonna be using for mine is I'm gonna be using this printable vinyl. It's really really awesome to use. It's what I have used on my Joy and my um, Cricut Maker when, when making their decals and they turn out really, really nice. So um, this is the Cricut uh, printable vinyl and I'll link all of the things that I use below. Um, we're also going to use some measuring tape because it's really helpful to measure the areas that you're going to put a decal on. I'm personally going to put it on four different areas of the machine so I've already pre-measured but just know a measuring tape is going to be essential because you want to make sure you don't make your sticker too big or too small. You want to make sure that it is sized appropriately for your um, machine. So another thing is the weeding tool. Um, this is going to come in handy when we weed out the printable vinyl and then some scissors are going to be helpful as well. We're also going to use some um, rubbing alcohol just to clean the areas and just lightly wipe down the areas that we are going to be placing the decal on. It's just helpful to remove any grime or oils um, that may have come off of your hands or um, that may just be on the machine anyways because it'll just help the sticker stick a little bit better. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to hop into Cricut Design Space and we are going to check out the decals that I'm gonna do on mine. I'll show you where I found them and then I'll show you how I uploaded them into Design Space. So let's get started. So now that we're in Design Space, these are the images that I'm going to use to make my floral decals and I think they are gorgeous. I think they're so pretty and they're going to look really nice against the pink color that's on my Explore Air 2. So I'm super excited to finally get these on there. Um, I did purchase these from Design Bundles, so I will link the um, link below just in case you want to be able to find this as well. Um, so I purchased this from them and I am going to be making this for personal use only. I'm just making this for my own personal machine. Machine. So what I'm going to do is show you how I ended up getting these into Design Space. So I'll go ahead and delete these. Let's see here. Okay, delete. And then what I'm going to do is I'll go up here to Upload. And then what you do is you will click Upload Image. So they're already right here, but I'll show you how I got them to this spot. So I'll click Upload Image. And then I'm going to click Browse, or I can just drag and drop a file um, to my uh, to this area right here and it'll start uploading it. So what I did was I went ahead and located the file and I'll show you this actually comes with multiple different um, elements. So the one I purchased comes with a lot of different ways you can style um, this floral decal or whatever you're creating with it. So it comes with them all individually in case you want to do something um, custom. So then you can just click back and then it also comes with them already put into bouquets. So that's really nice too. This is what I'm going to be using. And then it comes with a couple other things like frames and wreaths. So that's really neat too. Um, it has other little designs. Um, actually, I think I'm using this for one to this um, long one as a frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the sweet bouquet and then I am going to click on one that I'm going to be using. So this is one I'll be using. So I just double clicked. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to be given three different options and I'm going to click complex and click continue. And now what it's going to do, let me see if I can make this a little bit smaller, is it's going to show you a preview in here. And if um, it already comes with transparent background, so there's really no additional work that needs to be done. So now I can go ahead and click continue again. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it as a print then cut image. So if you save it as a cut image, then it just saves this black uh, background or um, shadow. So you don't want it this because this is just like the cut out, the outline of it. So you want to save it as a print then cut because then it's going to show it just like this. So then you can rename it if you would like and then you can click save. And once you do that, then it is going to place this image um, into your little re recent uploads and then you can select it to put it into your canvas to start sizing and working with. So I'm going to click on the ones that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to use this one, I believe, this this as well and this. So these are the four that I'm going to use and then I'm going to go ahead and click insert images. So you'll see they're all stacked right here in this little queue down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click insert images and then they're all gonna insert into my canvas here and it might take just a second because there's multiple of them and they're all um, a little bit big. Okay, so now I can just decrease this a little bit and then I'll pull these apart. And now I'm going to size them. So right now they're really big, so I wanna size them down. So now I'm just gonna to refer to the sizes that I had um, when measuring out um, my Cricut. So I wanna make sure that I have them just the right size so they fit within the space. So I have already done that, so I'm gonna um, go ahead and place those custom sizes. For this big one, I did unlock it so that I could you know, drag and make it a little bit longer. So the size that I used for my big one is going to be a width of 8.549, by, and they're pretty specific, but um, they worked out really nice, by 2.376. Okay, and they're gonna look really small, but I'll, um, I'll zoom in in just a moment. And then for this big one, I went ahead and did 3.998, or essentially four, and it was by 4.0. 042. Okay, that's perfect. And then for this one, I'm going to just drag it this way for a second so I can see. What I'm going to do with this one is I am going to um, flip this. So I'm going to go over here and say flip horizontal. And you could do that with anything you'd like if you um, want, you know, the flowers on the other side or you just want a different little arrangement of it. So I'm going to flip that. And then my measurement is going to be a width of 7.014. And then that makes a height of, let's see, did I do that right? I think so. Maybe I'll unlock it and make that just a tad smaller. Okay. And then my final is going to be, let's see, a width of 5.89. Let's see, is that right? I think so. Okay, so this I'm going to just unlock and make a little bit skinnier. Let's see here. So make sure you click that unlock button if you need to do some further adjustments just to make sure that it fits like you want it to on your machine. Okay, so I have them all sized where I want them. Again, you will size them appropriately for how you want to um, do your own personal decal. So now that they are all sized how I want them to be, what I'm gonna do is I am going to get them all printed and then cut out. So again, it shows they are already print and cut images. I have my Explore already selected. You can make this on an Explorer or Maker, um, but the Cricut Joy does not support um, print and cut, so you cannot do it on the Joy. So now I'm going to go ahead and click make it. So now you'll see that it places it on multiple mats and quite honestly I don't know why it's doing this because there's obviously plenty of room for it to fit some of these on them together. So what I did was I went and hit cancel and then I decided that I would, let me find them here, um, I would hide a couple of them and kind of just um, do that as a workaround. So I'm going to hide this big one and I'm going to hide um, this 
one up here and then I'm going to click make it and then it fits two on a sheet so I'm going to go ahead and make it make these and then what I'm going to do is I'll come back in and just make the other two because the other two fit together on another sheet so that way everything kind of cuts um, and uses less material so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click continue and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click send to printer so I'm going to um, have it send it to my home printer I always get asked what printer I use so this is the printer right here just in case you want to know um, it works great it's been said that for printable um, vinyl or print then cut then you just want to be using it's recommended that you use a ink jet printer or an ink based printer and not a laser printer so that is the recommendation and now what I'm going to do is um, once I have turned bleed on then I will say print so once I do that then I'm going to come and set my material so I'll browse on material and I will go down to vinyl and I will click printable vinyl and that is how um, we are going to do the settings. So I have my dial set to custom um, on my Explorer 2. So set the dial to custom, just turn it to custom, then select printable vinyl in the menu and then um, default pressure will be just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and do these first two, then I'll come back in and do the second two and we'll get them going. So I'm going to go ahead and send to printer and then I will click print. Okay, so here's how it turns out, and this is on the printable vinyl. I will mention something that's really helpful before I cut this. So what I did before is I went ahead and I printed all of my designs on paper before sending my printable vinyl through. And what I did is I printed on paper first, and then I cut them out and then placed them where I wanted them on my machine, and then made sure that I wrote the sizes on the back that I really liked them at. Um, that just really helped me practicing on paper first before practicing on expensive stuff. So um, do go ahead and do that. So when you go ahead and send to printer in design space, just send it to paper first and then just kind of make sure your designs are looking the way you want them to in um, terms of size. That way you can make any adjustments and know that you didn't waste your printable vinyl. So I found that really, really helpful. So now before we go to print the other two, um, we need to finish this step first because this has um, already been um, loaded in the, in the cut section. So we will do this first and then go back in and get the other two images. And again, the reason I did that was just so that um, it would trick it to put it on um, two mats or two um, printable vinyl sheets instead of the three because it was being a stinker like that. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to place our printable vinyl onto our mat and I'm putting it in the top corner here. And what I'm going to do is make sure that my registration box are still on there. So don't do any cutting. You are literally going to take this off the printer and place this on the mat. So you may want to make sure that you leave the boxes on or the box surrounding it because that is how your Cricut machine is going to read the machine and that's how it's going to reference where the design is within the box. So don't do any cutting. You're also going to want to make sure that your machine is calibrated before you do print and cut and I'll go ahead and link a tutorial on how you can do that. Okay, so now this is all on the mat. It looks really, really nice. And we're just going to go ahead and load our machine. Again, our dial is set to custom. And we're going to click the flashing arrow buttons. And now what the machine is going to do is it's going to cut out the design. So we're going to click the flashing cricket button and allow that to cut it out. Okay, so it's just finishing up and it did all of its cuts, so I'm gonna go ahead and unload, and what I'll do is flip my mat, and then I will just grab, put a nice palm, a nice firm palm on my printable vinyl and peel my mat away. That way it doesn't um, bend my printable vinyl. So they have all been cut out, and I'll show you how to weed this in just a second. But let's go ahead and go back into Cricut Design Space and get the other two images. Okay, so the first two um, floral decals are done, and so I'm going to click Finish.
And then what I'm going to do is I am going to come back to my canvas here and locate my other two. Let's see, where are you hiding? Okay, there you are. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to start hiding these um, two that I've already done. So I'll click hide and I'll, in the meantime I will unhide the other two. That way I can do the final two. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to click make it again and then and let me see if I can get these to, I wonder if I attach these two, if I can get them to just stay put. So let me see if I hit make it, if that would work. Okay, perfect. So I just went ahead and attached them so that they would um, go ahead and print together. Okay, so that probably would have been helpful the first time around. So just know that. There we go. I just saved you guys a step. Hopefully that works for you guys. If not, then you can just do it this long way like me. So I'm going to click continue and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to send it to printer. I'm going to make sure the bleed is turned on. And what the bleed does is it makes sure it adds a little barrier. It, it, it prints more along the um, border than it needs to. That way when the blade goes into cut, it can cut between the extra extra ink and the actual image and then it can give you a nice clean cut without any white background on it so it's really helpful so I go ahead and click print and then once again we are going to make sure that our uh, material is set to printable vinyl okay so now I'm just going to lay this down really nice and then I will go ahead and put it in my machine again Okay, so now um, also make sure again that you leave the boxes on. So we're gonna go ahead and load the machine. And then we'll click the Cricut button. And again, it's set to printable vinyl. My dial is on custom. And before it does anything, what it's gonna do is it's gonna go through and it's going to scan the little boxes. So you'll see it do it just like this. So it's got a little light and it's scanning each side of the rectangle box. That way it knows exactly where the rectangle is located on the mat. And from there, it can go ahead and locate the two images that are on or inside the box. So once it's done scanning, what it's gonna do is it's going to um, get the blade all ready and it will begin cutting. So there it goes. Okay, so a couple little workarounds that we learned. That was really nice. Um, so I'm glad that happened and I'm definitely going to keep it in the video because sometimes people think that I craft perfectly all the time and I um, have an easy time with everything and quite honestly behind the scenes I'm still working and learning a lot as well. So I'm glad that happened because that taught me a lot about um, print and cut too. So what I learned was that attach feature, um, if you attach two images together then that works really well in helping it know that you want it to print on one sheet because originally this was going to want to print on two and this was going to print. So we went ahead and made sure that it printed um, on two sheets instead of three. So that was nice that that happened and it ended up working out really well. So I'm just noticing how perfectly these um, decals are matching with my mat here. So I'm obviously in love with this because my mat is one of my favorite things about my craft table. So, all right, so that looks great. We're going to weed that in just a second, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to get a little bit on my little um, cotton swab here. And I am just going to really lightly just clean off the few areas that I'm going to put my decal on. So I'm going to be doing one on this little tray here. I'm going to shut it and then I'm going to do one right here. Okay. I'm going to do another here. It took me a long time to decide what I wanted to do. I know so many of you have been waiting for this tutorial and me too because I love it when my machines are decorated but it took me a long time to decide what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it. And then I'm gonna do one more right here. It's gonna look super cute. Makes me wanna redecorate my maker. And I might just do that, it might be fun. Although I love how my maker looks. Okay, so now I'm just gonna let that all dry, open that back up, and I can go ahead and turn that off because we're done cutting. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to <clears throat> weed out our little design here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take away all of the surrounding area here. 
just like this and it cut really nice so take your time go really slow that way it doesn't rip anything and you can even cut these apart beforehand if you want to just weed one at a time okay I'm just peeling away all of the surrounding area and I think this big one is cut in two pieces I noticed while I was watching it cut so they must that must just be how the design is okay really pretty so now after all of the background is done what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and make sure there are no little tiny middles so you're just gonna really hold that up um, kind of to the light if you can or just to see it better and there are gonna be some little pieces inside which is awesome because it's gonna make it look even better they're just some little cuts inside that you're gonna want to weed out okay so I'm looking really close sometimes it's kind of hard to see with printable vinyl okay look at my next one my next one might be all done already I think that one is okay let me zoom in and you guys can watch me really close do the second one okay so again what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come up to the side here and just pierce a corner just like that okay and if you didn't want to waste all of this here you could print more decals than you need and then just use them for another project um, these look great on anything so you could put these on the front of a notebook which I do have a tutorial coming soon about how to decorate the front of a notebook because I have a really cute notebook that I want to decorate with you guys um, so if you, you know, this is making you nervous, which of course it makes me nervous too, to see, you know, some wasted, then go ahead and print more than you need and then just place, place them on something, um, something else. Okay. So then again, I'm just going to kind of, kind of put it up to the light so I can see if there are any little middles that need to come out. There's one little one right there. Okay, and I can just kind of set them off to the side here. Let me see here if I can see any other ones. Another little one. I'm in love with anything floral, obviously, and I'm in love with watercolor as well. I think um, watercolor is so pretty. So, so pretty. Let's see. Yep. So don't worry if you are having trouble seeing the little pieces. Um, just take your time and... If you kind of hold it and um, had an angle, it's easier to see any little cut lines. You could also maybe get the bright pad out. I have a bright pad. I'm, I should probably bring that out and show you guys at some point um, how neat that is. I don't use it too much though, I'll be honest. I don't use it too much, but it could prove helpful in this situation, I'm sure. But I've never used it for print prints and cuts so I'm not quite sure do you guys have a bright pad let me know if you guys do and if you use it a lot I've heard it's really helpful for glitter um, and if um, you guys oh I don't know if that tutorial is up yet but I have a glitter tutorial if not it's gonna be up soon but it might have gone up before this video um, that is so fun too okay so I think we are all Set. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we can take our scissors and we are just going to separate these. So being really careful not to cut my design, obviously. So I'm just going to cut these out and get them all ready to go. So I'm going to attempt applying these like a sticker. Um, if you watch my tutorial on how I decorated my joy, I used transfer tape because that decal had so many intricate pieces that were all um, individually 
cut and it was going to be a nightmare to put that all down together. So these look like they're nice big pieces that are all together. So I'm going to attempt putting these down just like a sticker and just peeling them up. So we will see. Okay, who's ready? I'm so excited. So I am going to actually do the lid first. So this is the one that will be on the lid. It's so pretty. So I am going to just very, very gently peel it like I would a sticker very carefully. And I'm starting on the side that has like a more substantial um, base, not over here where there's like tons of little leaves. I want to make sure I pull them off that way and not try to pull them this way or they were all just tear. So I'm going to go ahead and just very gently begin peeling. And I think it's all going to come off in one big piece, but you guys will see. And it cuts so beautifully. Again, you'll want to make sure you calibrate your machine so that yours cuts really nice as well. It just helps with the accuracy of your machine with print and cut. Okay, there it is. Oh, that was a piece that was um, supposed to be weeded out. Well, there we go. Okay. Okay. So we have the sticker. And now we're just going to try to get it to lay down really nice here. So I'm going to put it right here. And I'm just going to go really slow. And just go from left to right and lay it down. And literally, I'm just going leaf by leaf, just getting them positioned and laid down. Okay, so. Okay, and you can refer to your design too to make sure everything is laying down where you want it to. I'm sorry I'm quiet, but it's hard for me to talk while I'm holding my breath, and I'm holding my breath. <laughs> I'm literally holding my breath, you guys. Okay, it looks good though. And I'm just going to pull one over. looking cute oh my goodness okay that looks awesome and then I'm just gonna do this little guy and I used I just used kind of my weeding tool to keep kind of keeping control of them um, if any pieces kind of fell down before I was ready I would probably recommend trying the transfer tape with Okay, I'll, I'll show you which transfer tape to use though. Not any transfer tape because this is, this stuff is delicate. So you don't want to, um, oh, that looks so good. Okay, so this little piece kind of, um, I'm just going to lightly kind of grab it. He kind of got a little crooked. So I'm just going to lightly kind of bring him up. Being really careful not to scratch anything, especially my machine. Okay, so I had a couple little little leaves come up and that's just fine. I'm just going to go ahead and put them right back down. And voila. Okay, so that is how the first one turned out. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, I love it. It looks exactly like I wanted. Okay, so let's try. Let's see. Um, what's going to be next? I have to decide. What's going to be next? I think this inner part is going to be next. So let's try. I think I can do this like a sticker as well. So I'm going to be brave. This is going to be a little bit, it might be a little easier since 
it's not laying down on a surface. I'm kind of just doing it from the, like I'm going to be bringing it over like this instead of down so that the things won't cling as much. But I'll show you guys one with transfer tape too. So I'm going to bring out my masking paper transfer tape. It's what I used in my previous video when I decorated my joy. And it's really, really nice. You have to still be gentle because printable vinyl is really delicate, but um, it's gentler than regular transfer tape, so it's a good option. Okay, so I'm just kind of holding this upside down and letting those pieces kind of fall off as they go, or as they come off of that cutting sheet. Sticking. Okay. So now the question is, which direction do I want it to go? Oh, like that, like that. Yep. So I'm just going to, oops, sorry, you can't see because of my hand, but actually I'm going to have to just not show you for a second because it's kind of more important that I get this down right the first time. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. That is awesome. Cute, cute. Okay. So I'm just pushing it down towards the sides and there's a couple leaves that are there we go they were wanting to hang out together again you can just kind of use your weeding tool to to lightly grab anything that needs to come back up okay and just applying this last little leaf cute oh my goodness okay let me tilt that up that one looks really cute too. I love it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do my tray. So I'm gonna grab my masking transfer tape because this, I feel, is gonna come off in two pieces. So I might just lay that down together. Okay, so it's also important to tell you that when I measured this space, there are little um, indentations that are that build up, little built up bumps here. You wanna make sure you avoid those. You don't wanna put your design over those. You wanna avoid them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place, now when everybody watched my last video doing this, they were like on pins and needles because this makes people nervous, but just, be very gentle. Place this over lightly. Okay, now I'm going to take my scissors here and I'm just going to cut away and leave some transfer tape on that roll that I'm not using. You can even rip this stuff, it's so easy. Okay. Perfect. I'll link this below too. I would not, not, not use any other transfer tape um, than this. So I'm just going, everything else is just going to be way too aggressive and way too um, sticky. And we'll just rip off the top of your, your um, printable vinyl. It will be very sad. Okay, so now I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to peel away that carrier sheet really slowly and if any pieces don't want to come up then just or are trying to come up just kind of lay them down with your weeding tool or however you like to do it so let me know do you guys decorate your machines have you guys done that it's probably one of the first things actually it is one of the first things I do with with all my machines it's just it's just so fun. Okay, so that is off. It looks great. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a second while it's upside down and I'm gonna cut away any extra transfer tape that I have because it's just gonna help me with um, aligning my decal on my machine, making sure that I get it all centered every and everything really really nicely okay 
Perfect. And then with the bottom, I'm just going to make sure that this bottom is a nice straight line. Because I got a tad crooked on my transfer tape. All right. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. So now I'm going to just eyeball it. You can bring out your measuring tape if you'd like. Oh, oh my gosh. Everybody hold their breath. Okay, I'm not going to lie, that totally ruined it. So, uh, luckily I have an extra because last night I was printing out just to make sure the cutting was working. And so I have an extra and I'm going to use that because I'm not going to lie, the other one completely ruined when I did that. Uh, but you know what? That's okay. This is real life crafting. That stuff happens more times than we care to admit. Okay, so instead of trying to fix that other one, because it was pretty much beyond repair, I'm just going to redo it and <laughs> maybe say a prayer this time. Maybe I'll add that. Okay, so let's take this off real quick. So some of them last night I printed on, on the printer um, just to check my designs, but some of them I printed on the vinyl because I want to make sure that because um, I had just calibrated my machine a couple weeks ago and this is I think this is my first printing cut on this machine so I want to do a test cut to make sure it was all good okay so that's why I had an extra and I was just going to put it on something else but now I'll put it here and that's just fine okay so you guys are learning so much from this tutorial today <laughs> I think, oh my goodness, everybody needs to take a deep breath. I'm taking a deep breath. That was, that scared me a little bit. Okay. Okay. So, here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it really tight, really, really tight. And I'm going to, because if you have it loose, it's going to go clinging. It's going to cling and then stick. And let me tell you, that sticks really, really quick and fast. And so I'm just going to, ooh, that looks really good. Okay, I'm going to lay it down right there. Okay, so I'm going to go from the middle out on this one. Just with my finger, just lightly. Okay, and you don't, I'm not going to use a scraper or anything because I don't want it to be super, super stuck down um, with that transfer tape because I don't, uh, I, I want the transfer tape to come off really easily on this. So now I'm just going to go really slow, really, really slow because I don't want to rip my printable vinyl and I'm just going to take my time and it's leaving the printable vinyl on my Cricut. Oh, it looks really nice. And just go really slow so you don't rip anything. Again, and for the sake of repetition, I would not use any other transfer tape on this. Okay, there it is. And I'm checking the back. I don't see, there's like a tad bit of residue, just a little bit, but the sticker looks flawless. So it looks really good. I love how that looks. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this front part and I am going to grab my um, paper trimmer. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab that little piece of um, rubbing alcohol and just rewipe that a little bit just because I was handling the machine as I was um, bringing it up. Just make sure it stayed nice and clean. Okay, so now I'm going to, I put a towel underneath here just to make sure that it was all um, protected and just sturdy um, and gave it just a nice cushion while I do this part. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to, this is how it's gonna end up looking like this here look really neat okay 
I think I'm going to do it with transfer tape again just because these pieces are really kind of small and I really want this to turn out really, really flawlessly. And that transfer tape trick does really good. So I'm just going to grab a little bit and I'm going to do these separately. So bring this first one down here and just add a little transfer tape. Okay. And I actually only really need this edge right here to be perfectly straight, so I can probably just leave the rest of this on. And I'm going to peel away, just like that. And I'm just going to line it up how I would like it. And lay it down. And again, I'm just going lightly with my finger here. And then I'm going to very lightly peel up. Very gently. Leaving my design on my machine. Okay, now I'm going to use this other side for this little side here. So I'm going to just grab it and lay it down here, perfect. And turn it over. I'm just going to line up. I'm going to take the rest of this off now at this point because I don't want it to cling. Less is more. Okay. Again, grabbing it really tight at those edges so it doesn't fall back and cling on those pieces there. Right there, looks great. And then I'm just gonna start there and go towards the edge. Awesome, okay. Okay, now I'm just gonna very lightly again peel. Very slowly. Right, that looks so good. I love how that looks. And it's done. Oh my goodness, I love how that looks. That looks really sweet. I love how this all um, pairs really nicely with that pink too. It's so pretty. Okay, let me go ahead and set this back up and then um, we'll be all done. Okay, everyone, I hope you guys loved this. I love how it turned out. The side one looks so cute, too. And then the um, two inside looks so neat. I love how this tray looks. I think they're just so fun. And no matter what, even if it's open or closed, um, and then those are how those three look together. So pretty. Um, but no matter what, even if it's open or closed, it's very beautiful. So I love it. And I like spending some time, um, you know, decorating it in the open phase because most of the time that's how I'm using it too. So, but then again, once it's closed and put away, it's still equally beautiful. So I like, um, just the, at first when I was thinking of doing four, I thought, is that too much? But I don't think so. I think, um, it allows it to be appreciated when it's open and closed and I really, really like it. So, I am in love with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. Two or three things I want to mention. Okay. Major a lot before you do this. Measure, measure, measure. So measure the areas that you want. Make sure you know the space that you have to work with. Always print on printer paper before you put your printable vinyl through. It allows you to make sure you have 
enough ink in your printer because sometimes you go to print and then all of a sudden you don't have ink um, that way you don't waste you have just tested it on a piece of paper so test that first it also allows you when you print it on printer paper first to test your size so you can you can go ahead and grab all those little pieces um, I can't Oh, these are mine. So these are all my printer paper pieces, but it allowed me to go ahead and grab them and, you know, make sure I was able to put them up on my machine and, you know, stand back and look at, see if I really liked those. So do that because it saves you material. Um, and then the last thing is if you do want to use transfer tape, I'll link this below. This is a masking paper transfer tape and it's just very light grip. So it's really, really nice. I use this on probably 95% of my projects when I'm crafting. You guys see this a lot, but I would not recommend using anything other than this with printable vinyl because anything other than this, if you use any other transfer tape with a strong grip, once you go to peel it away, it's going to literally rip the top layer of your printable vinyl off and then it, it's going to be completely demolished and ruined. So if you want to do this, it's, um, I'll link it below because it's very helpful. And some of those pieces were super delicate. I was very brave on doing this piece without it. Um, but it turned out great, but if seeing how easy it is with the masking transfer tape, just use the transfer tape if um, you are a little nervous about it. Okay, if you guys enjoyed this, if you had fun, if at any moment in this crafting tutorial you gasped along with me or you were holding your breath, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. And I hope you guys had fun with this. Let me know if you guys have decorated your machines in the comment section below. I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to hear what your color choices were. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Floral decals are so fun. So leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next video.